Welcome back to make way for Cat. So we are back in Dreamlight Valley. I did sell some stuff. As you can see, I have five grand now. I sold all the carrots I grew. I did some fishing. Actually, if you catch a blue, like the fish in the blue swirl and in the red swirl, they, they sell for quite a bit. So I think I have enough now to get Remy's house off the ground. Good day, dear. All right. This place is huge. <laughs> oh, we're taking a photo, huh? Hello? Remy. Hey, it's you! Wow, this place is beautiful and familiar. I almost feel like I've been here before. Weird. Well, no time No time to think about that now. I have a restaurant to open. Very nice. He does. Alright, we've got Remy. Hello! Is this it? Is this the only restaurant in this village? Hmm. Wow, I guess I'm not in Paris anymore. Now, don't get me wrong, there's potential here, it just needs some love. And maybe a complete renovation, but you can help me with that, right? Absolutely, I love food. Thanks, it helps to have someone who, you know... Uh... Measures their height and feet instead of inches is tall enough to reach the top shelves. Exactly. Though, there are advantages to being small. For example, I can climb through a hole in the wall and unlock the door from inside. Follow me. Let's see what we're dealing with. Oh, we didn't have to do anything? We just get it? So many fl flavors. Okay. The sign's still busted. Ooh. Grayish white evening gloves. Okay. Ooh. We do have some ingredients here. Oh. A memory. I just- oh, the journal entry. I just had the most amazing meal at- Remy has really outdone himself with the menu. He's talking about expanding the dishes based on all of the different parts of the valley. This right here is based off a very famous Rococo painting. Okay. Now I think I have some other quests to turn in. Is that all we're gonna do, Remy? Let me just check. Enter the restaurant and see what's inside. I just did that. Talk to Remy about the restaurant. Okay. Oh, here he is. It's you! And it's completely empty. Guess we start with the basics. First up, tables and chairs. I bet Scrooge McDuck sells those. Since we'll need a lot of them, let's hope he'll give us a package deal. Thanks! Um, I do have some on, in my inventory already. Does that matter? Oh, buy a restaurant furniture kit from Scrooge. Okay. I guess we'll have to do that. Speaking of Scrooge, we have a quest to turn into him anyway.
Oh, greetings, neighbor. Okay. Um, let's give him something. How about a banana? What should I do with the signs? Use them to promote the shop, of course. I did that. Goodbye now. Toodaloo. Huh. Thank you kindly. Let me look at that quest. I did just kind of clump them. Or do I need to put that outfit back on? Um, quests. Okay, I have four out there. I guess I pick them up and try again. I clustered them all in one area. Oh, I have to go into this menu again. I don't wanna. Okay. So we're gonna remove. Remove. We'll leave that one there. Let's check our quest. There's one out of four. I have one by my house, too. Okay, let's see. Oh, so that one counted, but the other three did not. Okay. Maybe they have to be near, like, the pathing or something. Let's put one here. One back here. All right, let's see if any of those worked. We got a four. Okay, so let's just remove this one. Oh, I want the wood. Takes 25 to make a chest. Definitely worth doing. I have made one chest, but... I'd like to have another. Okay. And we'll put this one here. There we go. And where are these furniture kits I'm supposed to be looking for? Anyway. Good day to you. The hard work is paying off. The shop's been busy all day. Uh huh. Okay, happy to help. Here's a little something to hang in your house. Uh -huh. Now there's just one more thing to do. Let's give the front of the shop a wee bit of polish. Just enough to say... Uh, come in and spend all your money. Yeah, we'll go that one. Villagers here are humble, salt of the earth folk. Luxury might scare them away. Maybe a bit of a luxury is what will set us apart. Collect some flowers and use them to make flower pots to decorate the storefront. He's giving me the pots. Great. Let's see Bye -bye. what kind of flowers we need.
Oh, round soil area. I just realized these are like little planter boxes. And little planter areas. Okay, but those don't look like furniture repair kits. Let's check the quest again. Yeah, buy a restaurant furniture kit from Scrooge. Hmm. Oh, yeah, what kind of flowers do we need for this one? Two dandelions, purple rising panstemons? So these are the dandelions, I believe. Yes. Oh, we have uh, Merlin's quest too. Is this... Is that the right purple flower? No. Merlin does want to talk to us over there. Oh, maybe those purple flowers are it right there. Ooh, coin. I'll take. Oh, new recipe unlocked. That's it. Merlin, I thought I was meeting you here. Alright, there's one way to summon Merlin. Not even crow. There he is. Well, hello. This pillar is just one of many scattered around the village. For as long as I can remember, the pillars protected the valley and kept it safe from dark magic, but no longer. I'm afraid the pillars are broken, cat. Um, how do I fix them? By making them whole again, find the vital pieces missing from each. Each pillar once contained an orb of virtue. The orbs are filled with powerful magic, and each one stood for a virtue around which the old ruler built the valley. Oh. These virtues are some of the most powerful kinds of magic there are. Trust, friendship, power, just to name a few. I think this quest is called the power of friendship, so I think we're looking for a friendship orb. Power is one of the virtues? Yes, power can be virtuous if it's wielded wisely. Which, I'm afraid it rarely is. That's how we've ended up with such a magical mess in our hands. So what happened to the orbs? When our ruler disappeared, some were lost. Some were forgotten. And others were stolen for their magic. I have to find the orbs. Um... The village safe. Exactly, as long as you keep what's best for the village in your heart, you'll stay on the right track. Now, this pillar held the Orb of Friendship, one of the most powerful orbs in the village. That orb is now tangled in a night thorn fiercer than any you've encountered before. I think that's the one that's over there. Since the orb got stuck, the well in the meadow fell prey to a curse and we can no longer use it. You must free the orb from the thorns by proving that you have the power of friendship. Oh. Yes, yes, it's ex extremely important to get our friends back, but that isn't enough. We mustn't forget about those who are already here. Try to rebuild their lives. Mm -hmm. Small acts of kindness go a long way. You know, like giving someone a gift just because you think they'd like it. Spending time together. What do you modern kids call it? Hanging out? <laughs> so talk to the villagers to get to know them. Most importantly, let them get to know you. Once you understand this, the orb of friendship will be yours. Return it to its rightful place and the curse of the well will be lifted. Well, hey, run along now. Okay. I'll give him something. Have a banana. Hey, level two. Oh. <laughs> Ooh, unlock new rolls. Oh, for this is for him. Your companion can find more crops. Who did I level up last time?
Let's go fishing with him. So this must be the orb here. Oh. Let's eat. I think everyone else is sleeping right now. Let's go make our flower pots. That's what we need to do. and their riches are soon parted. Let me make sure I'm doing this quest in the right order. Okay, place. Near Scrooge's store. So we'll do one here. And one here. I need to talk to you. We did it. Business is booming. My shop is saved. The front of the shop looks grand, but more importantly, um, villagers know where to get stuff. Hey, you've done a fine service for the valley. Oh. Now you've shown yourself to be pretty crafty, so I'm giving you your own crafting station. Awesome. But you better not think about going into competition with me. You don't want to mess with Scrooge McDuck. Uh, I wouldn't dream of it. <laughs> this village isn't big enough for two entrepreneurs with swimming pools full of gold. Thank you, Cat. It's a pleasure doing business with you. A minute of your time? We'll do mining with him. Hey, I've got a job for you. Oh, he's got something else for me. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Time to do what, you say? Well, to jumpstart the village's economy, of course. Even if it means having to light a wee fire under Goofy to get him moving. Um... Of course. Oh. <laughs> uh, we'll get along just fine. It's time for you to learn the art of selling. Thank you kindly. Digging those shiny ears, like the copper color, those with my hair. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Okay. Oh, let's talk to him. I'm Scrooge McDuck. I made my fortune being tougher than the toughies and smarter than the smarties. How tough were the toughies? Oh, they were the toughest. Yukon miners and Beagle Boy bandits. But I out-hiked, out-swam, and out-explored them all. Bye -bye now. Oh, that's a daily discussion. Sell gems at Goofy's stall. Oh. We're gonna have to find more gems. I think I only have, like, four? Oh, no, my gems are inside. Oh. We can get extra ones. Okay. Those are shards, not gems. Oh, 
the ones that actually have the icon on them. Okay, so we've got five. So we'll have to look around and see if we can mine some more. I'm gonna sell that. I don't need that. Like a flower I picked up, that too. We'll sell pretty much everything else. Okay. So we need our pickaxe. I didn't think a gem would sprout out of it. I was just thinking about if I got rid of it, we could respawn a gem producing one. Ooh. Maybe these are just giving me gems because I have this quest. Nope. Okay. This is still hanging on. Yep. We should have enough gems to sell. Howdy. And we'll sell this. And our carrots. Three grand. Excellent. Puts me over six. Goofy's gone. I wanted to talk to him. Alright, we've got some more stuff here. Okay. Scrooge McDuck has another financial lesson for me. Joy. Hello. Now you have money to invest. Uh -huh. And my number 37 rule of personal finance is the most important investment you can make is in your home. I've added an elevator inside your house so you can access room improvements. Oh, awesome. You'll give it a gander and invest a little in expanding your real estate. Thank you kindly. Yes, please. Do you have those? Reach friendship level five with three villagers. Wow. Okay, that's how we get there. Come on, door. There's the elevator. Expand. Ooh, now we can add rooms. Cool.
Okay, we're gonna have to move some stuff now. That's the chandelier. We can get rid of that. It's dusty. Get rid of all this old stuff. No. Okay. Hold there. I'm gonna keep the fireplace for now. Okay. Oh, you know what? Let's make the kitchen in the back. <clears throat> this rug. I have this rug. Oh. Rotate, rotate. We'll do something like that, and then we'll move the couch just a little bit more. Okay, better. <laughs> oh, I only had one royal banner. Ooh, a castle painting. Oh, I can fit this desk now. Let's do it here. Sink and tiled wall. Scrooge McDuck wall sign. Coin operated game. Okay, uh, there we go. Put that there next to the clock. Oh, no. It won't let me put it here in front of the window. Okay, so that's good there. Crafting station. I kind of want to keep that outside. It's all the old stuff. Technically the side table. There's a piano bench we can put here. Decor. Oh, let's put the Mickey Mouse light over here. That looks nice. Magnificent chandelier over top of here. Trimmings. No. Tables. No. Storage. That's a... Okay. 
We hang Scrooge's wall sign. Yeah, why not? Outdoor only. Ballroom candelabra. Ooh, nice. I think we're good with our floors and our wallpaper. Oh. Oh, I like that. That's pretty. Uh, misc. I think that'll do it. Looking good. Oh, I should have moved that over to go with the sink, but we'll leave that there for now. Okay, what was I working on? Oh yeah, we upgraded our house, so now I need to go talk to Scrooge again. Greetings, neighbor. Huh? Okay, we're good. Well done. Oh, greetings, neighbor. He has a customer waiting for their delivery. Asking if I want to help. Who's the customer? The wizard. Okay. Something magical? Oh. That would make sense, but the answer is blue. Uh, uh. Can you guess where he wants to put this piece of furniture? His study, obviously. Indeed, and it's his study. Use the down payment he made for the furniture. Use it to buy something or throw in some of your own money to get something even nicer. 2,000? <laughs> if you don't find something he'd want in my shop, come and talk to me. I've just installed an on-demand delivery system. Bye-bye! I feel like you want this... Oh, but it's two grand... Or I'd have to pitch in 1500 of my own. But I mean, who wouldn't want a Kraken table? I actually want this jacket, <laughs> but I can't afford it. Good day to you. Oh. Okay, let's Thank you kindly. Let's talk to him. Oh, greetings, neighbor. Furniture. Oh, wow. What? Okay, we're gonna have some fun with this game. Well, that's all stuff I have. So he has basically furniture sets that you can put together to make something nice. And then you can just reorder stuff you've already purchased or stuff you already have. Ooh, whoa, okay. Books, yes. We need to spend 2000 on something though. What is this? Oh, this is what he's looking for. Okay. Remy wants that. So I'll buy one. And this is for... Oh. No, we want Scroo Scrooge's. No. Wait, why can't I get... Okay, that's not right. Oh, wow. Look at all these filters. How did I get to that?
Let me go Bye -bye. hand this into Remy, and then we'll go back and look at his stuff again. Where are you? <clears throat> I guess we go to his house. Such a giant house. Can I get a little help here? If Bonjour. Okay, now that the customers can sit, let's think about the food. Uh -huh. Well-stocked kitchen, for which I have a list. Oh, uh -huh. boy. Okay, using those lists to open La Ratatouille was a dream come true. Good thing I held on to them, huh? He's gonna hand me the list. Half the list. Au revoir. Oh, hey. Oh yeah, the sink. It's right here. The same sink I got. This looks nice, Remy. Merlin wants... Oh, I forgot it's supposed to be blue furniture for his study. Well, I've got an ice chair. Mark me words. A villain and their riches are soon parted. Alright, let's try this again. Oh, okay, that's not working anymore. Wait, we can do... All, filter, blue. That's all I can give him is this. I don't like any of that. Bye-bye now! This isn't blue. This is purple. Okay. Never mind. We'll have to do his quest later. Man, he gave me 2,000 gold. Hold on. Let me see if there's a time limit on this quest. Okay. <laughs> Bring Merlin. It says I already bought blue furniture for Merlin's study. Bring Merlin blue furniture for his study. I guess I'm gonna deliver the ice chair. Or should I say the frozen throne? Every time I come through here, I watch these little pools for red or blue. Ooh, I haven't seen that kind of gem. I can see into the future, so I know you should come talk to me. <laughs> there we go. Customers know best. Oh. Here, he can have this thing. Oh. It's exactly what I wanted. Well done, my friend. Tell Scrooge it's a pleasure doing business with him. I couldn't have done better myself. Well, hello. Okay, conducting a study in the village, and I could use your assistance. What do you say? Marvelous. Now, to assist me, you must first hone your own magical skills. Tell me, what do you want most from magic? Uh, to help Dreamlight Valley. We shall begin by gathering dream shards. They're potent material used to craft many magical items. You'll find them trapped inside night thorns. I have lots of them. Thank you. You're very kind. I'm not going to worry about that right this second. I just want to buy that jacket. So I'm going to go ahead and sell this peridot I just got. Hello. 
How's it going? Oh, not by. 800. Great. Oh, raspberries are on his list. Uh -huh. But I will save that for another episode. I need to talk to you. Just a second. Greetings, neighbor. Yep. Bye bye. All right, let's make an outfit outfit out of that. Oh, let's open this first. Meh. Okay, let's take our coat off. Put this one on. We got some green and blue happening. Oh, we have a nice turquoise shirt. Or a blue button up. A lot of buttons. I dig that. These have kind of like an ombre-ness to them. That picks up the blue. And I actually dig these shoes with this. Switch back to the fun ears. Let's do the small black bag. I still really like having this skirt on. And we've got these shoes too. Yeah, let's go with that. Maybe the thick glasses again? Alright, I dig that outfit. Okay, Scrooge, what did you need? Where'd you go? Oh, there you are. Brilliant work. You'll be my employee of the month soon enough. I think you've learned a little something about keeping customers happy. And you're keeping the economy going, too. Come back to my shop anytime. I'll have new stock in soon. Splendid work. We got a long way to go to get level 5 with three of them. All done. And that's where I'm going to end this episode. So thank you so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next one.